right there. It's the star of Shrinking, the man everybody loves, <laughs> Jason Siegel. You're, you, you're your co-creator, a writer, and a star. And do you like, did you call Harrison Ford and say, hey, do you want to do this? No. What happens is there did, is... Did you know him before this? Uh, I did not know Harrison Ford at yes. all. Yes. Um, I knew he did acting. Yes. Uh, but no, you make an offer to Harrison Ford thinking that you get to say there's an offer out to Harrison Ford for a week, and yeah. then you'll offer it to the real person. Exactly. And then Harrison Ford said yes. Ah. And then you're like, Harrison Ford's going to show up? And then you scramble to be okay and to not freak out when he shows up. Because it's you freak out a little, freak out a little. I mean, he's Indiana Jones. He's he's Han Solo. Yeah. And I'm just curious whether headlines like this then hurt your feelings when you read them. Because uh, here's one. It says Harrison Ford had no idea who Jason Siegel was before <laughs> signing on to Shrinking. <laughs> January 17th. Did you? Am I showing you this for the first time? You are. Yes. Uh, I'm not. You know what? <laughs> I didn't know who he was either. You, um... <laughs> no, um... Did you... Was it, was it intimidating to work with him? It was. He was very, very kind. I mean, he's obviously an idol of mine, you know? And so one of the sure. things he does when he arrives is he kind of busts through the awe and treats you like, um, <laughs> like a peer. And he was, just, like, really generous in that regard. That said, I, I, like, desperately want his approval, you know? Like, yeah, real, yeah. real, yeah, real, yeah. real bad. Yeah, yeah, sure. So, uh... I, I do this thing because I realized you change into wardrobe pretty fast when you're making something, and I was, like, wasting a lot of time picking out outfits, you know? Yeah. Because I like to look good. Uh, and so I decided I was going to start wearing jumpsuits to work. <laughs> you know, like a real tradesman. And, uh... Like, like, a, like what a mechanic would sure, wear, that yeah, kind of thing. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. But I was, I was kind of uh, chicken about it. So I decided I would get there 30 minutes before work so no one would see me. Uh, in your jumpsuit, because you didn't, want, people, day, you didn't want anybody to see you in a jumpsuit. I gotta get used to it. I gotta get used to it. And so I showed up, and Harrison Ford was waiting outside my trailer to run lines. Wow. Yeah. And so I get out of my car. I'm like, it was like in Sarah Marshall when I said, I wish I wasn't wearing this effing shirt. That's how I felt in this jumpsuit. And uh, and he's talking to me. Like, yeah, well, I was, I was here to run some lines if you're up for it. And he kept eyeballing my jumpsuit. I saw it. <laughs> Yeah, I sure. saw it happening. Sure, sure. He was just, like, side-eyeing me. And then I said, are you uh, looking at my jumpsuit, Harrison? He said, I sure am, kid. And then uh, I felt really embarrassed. Like, I had been a little, uh, you know, emasculated or something by Harrison Ford. And uh, then the next day, I showed up for rehearsal, and this happened. Is that what this is? Yeah. Not only, not only a jumpsuit, but a hot pink jumpsuit. Yeah, that's right. He went and got a hot pink jumpsuit and was like, I'm with you, man. You and me, we're in this together. Yeah. So now we're best friends. He looks, by the way, he looks fantastic. He looks so good. He looks so good. <laughs> um, uh, people um, in this show say to your character that... Uh, that your character has sad face. Sure. That has sad face. You have something of a sad face. Of a sad face. I, Not yeah. a depressed face. Just kind of like a little, just a little. You know what I am? I'm magical melancholy. <laughs> <laughs> magical because it makes people want to take care of you. Uh, yeah. And like I still have childlike wonder. I see the world as like full of magic. But you're melancholy about it. A little bit it. sad about it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Since you were a child, you, you've had a little bit of this sad face, I understand. Well, I wondered. I wondered. I'm like... You wondered if you had the sad I, face? I, yeah, I'm like... Well, I wondered, like, I said to my mom once, I said, Mom, I got a question. I'm a little melancholy. Was I always like this, or did something happen? that like, I don't remember. And she said, no, 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 Jason, you were always like this. Let me show you this note you wrote me once. And this is... I love this so much. So you might have to read... What's that first word? Now. Now. Okay, I'll read it. It says, now <laughs> I know that no one likes me. Oh. Hate, Hate Jason. Jason. <laughs> I signed off strong. Hate Jason. <laughs> wow, do you remember this moment? I have no recollection of that moment. <laughs> but the, this is like the most tame of them. They, she sent me a bunch of notes. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was very, I became a writer. 
Sure. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> How are you? Are you I'm okay? Great. I'm great. Everybody. <laughs> I think pretty much everybody likes you, Jason. Yeah, they do, they do, yeah, yeah. You know that now. Yeah, yeah. Shrinking premieres this Friday on Apple TV+. Plus. Jason Siegel, everybody. We'll be right back with Chuck D.